The Wii U is coming to the end of its lifespan, with Zelda Breath of the Wild being the only big release on its horizon before the Nintendo NX. But KCS, what about no, Paper Mario no, Color no, Splash? No. That is just... Why would you even say that? That's just... Wrong to even say! Anyway, although the Wii U wasn't seen as the most successful console, it's still a great system with plenty of fun games on it. And to celebrate the Wii U, I decided to name the top 10 Wii U video games. Before we start, please understand that this list is my opinion, and if you disagree with it, that's fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. If you want, you can comment down below your own favorite Wii U games. I would love to check them out. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number 10. Coming in 10th is Yoshi's Woolly World, the most stylized game I've ever played. It may not have the polygons or super high-res graphics of AAA games today, but the super spectacular yarn-based art style more than makes up for it. Other than that, you have the fun, unique side-scroller with awesome collectible goodies, and you've got yourself a great game. So grab a friend and start collecting. And throwing yarn balls. And jumping infinitely. Number 9. Monster Hunter is awesome. And so is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. Although it's just an HD port of the 3DS game with the same name, it's still a Monster Hunter game. That means all the intense, super tough as nails, yet awesome and fun monster battles are still here. Other than that, being able to crossplay with the 3DS, as well as go online, a function that isn't in the 3DS version, actually makes the Wii U port the superior version. All in all, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is just a fantastic game, so grab a couple of friends and go fight those Rathaloses. Rath Rathalo, yeah. Number 8. Funnily enough, in the number 8 spot is Mario Kart 8, a fantastic game that's probably one of the best in the Mario Kart series. The new tracks introduced are all awesome and super fun. And other than that, the new anti-gravity mechanics look great and actually change up how the gameplay plays as you want to run into competitors as much as possible as it gives you a speed boost while you're in anti-gravity. Although the battle mode sucks, it is still a super fun game. And hey, you can play as Link if, uh, if you buy the DLC. And also, you can play as a Mercedes-Benz. That DLC is free. I'm not making this up. Number 7. Up next, we've got Rayman Legends. Although its release was surrounded by controversy, and went from being a Wii U exclusive to being on every single modern console to date, it's still an awesome game with great art and awesome 2D platforming. Not only that, it's got great multiplayer, makes good use of the gamepad, and has a lot of levels added as a little extra bonus from the first game. Oh, and the rhythm levels are beautiful. This is a fun-filled game, a lot of content, highly recommended. Number 6. In number 6, we've got Splatoon. Splatoon is Nintendo's newest IP and is a super unique multiplayer shooter. The point is to cover as much of the stage in your paint as possible or at least more than your opponents. This is a really addictive multiplayer game. Although it had a pretty bare-bones launch, a lot of free new modes and stages have been released since then, and now it's a game with a plethora of content. Other than that, it's got a Mario Galaxy-esque single-player campaign, and this game is just a really fun, really addictive game with a lot of content. All in all, it's a great new IP, and I hope to see more of it in the future. Number 5 Up next for number 5, we've got Pikmin 3, the long-anticipated sequel to the first two Pikmin games on the GameCube. And those two games were awesome. Probably, I, I don't know, I've never played them. But this game is super fun. Micromanaging all the Pikmin, as well as three different characters, is awesome 
and oddly enough, never really feels overwhelming. This game also has a challenge mode as well as a versus mode called Bingo Battle. And these are cool too. Other than that, this game is charming. Fighting monsters, raising pigmen, and grabbing fruit are all cool and super fun. And overall, Pigment 3 is just a great game. I actually hear that they're making another Pigmen game on the Nintendo NX right now, and hopefully that game will be able to live up to Pigmen 3. Number 4 In the number 4 spot is kind of a surprise pick. Deus Ex Machina Human Revolution Director's Cut is a sort of Game of the Year edition of the original Human Revolution, a fantastic game on the 360 and PS3. The game's a shooter that's all about choices. All the levels are built so that there are multiple ways of going about it, including non-lethal ways, lethal ways, ways where you just sneak past enemies. It's a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. The Wii U's Director Cut one-ups the originals by including all of the DLC, tweaking the boss fights to be better, and added a wide variety of Wii U gamepad features such as being able to hack, read emails, and manage inventory. All the features are actually really awesome and immersive, and aren't tacked on at all. Overall, Human Revolution is a fantastic game, and the Wii U version is arguably the best of the versions. Number 3 And we're down to the final three. In third place is Platinum Studios' very own Bayonetta 2. This game is super intense hack and slash action, where you play as Bayonetta and slice, shoot, and er, punch with your hair through armies of angels. It's fast-paced action with a nonsensical but entertaining story. With great visuals, gameplay, and plenty of replayability, Bayonetta 2 proves itself as one of the Wii U's finest. Not to mention, you can give Bayo Nintendo-themed outfits. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Hopefully Nintendo and Platinum Studios will team up once again and we might see a Bayonetta 3 on the Nintendo NX. Number 2 Xenoblade Chronicles X gets the silver medal. The sequel to the Wii's Xenoblade, a great expansive RPG. Xenoblade Chronicles X is even more expansive. With five lands filled to the brim with monsters, secrets, and items, this game has a lot of exploring to do. Not only that, but it also has a great combat system and an interesting story about the survival of humanity on an alien planet. The game is fun, but once you get a skell, which is essentially a battle mech that can fly, the game opens up and exploring in combat gets so much more fun and more interesting than they were before. This is a fun game with over a hundred hours of content in it that any RPG fan will enjoy. I highly recommend it. Number 1 In my opinion, the Wii U's best game is Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. But did that come as much of a surprise? This game is just pure fun. It's got a rich cast of unique characters with new ones such as Greninja, Shulk, Mega Man, and Pac-Man among others. And playing this game with friends is a guaranteed good time. There's not much else to say about it. It's Smash. It's awesome. So grab yourself a couple friends, and experience the best reason to own a Wii U. And that's my list. The Wii U had a good run, and some amazing games. And hopefully the NX will pick up the torch with some more smash hits, and better sales. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more content I've created, I've got a couple links around the screen. But that's it for now, so this is Caseus and see you guys later.